As we approach 2015 in Nigeria, that's the year of the coming general election. 2015 is a year of rebirth of Nigeria. The season of rebirth is coming upon the nation. And it's not going to come without confrontation. I see in the spirit the battles of the titans. Praise God. I see, the, I see the battle of the titans. I see men and women of strong political influence and muscles. They will begin to knock head together against one another. First of all, I sense and I know it was revealed to me by the Spirit that there will be the gang up and it's already happening. Conference of the old kings. And the old kings will take counsel together to wrestle power in this nation. And there will be knocking of heads together and putting ideas together. But I also understand in the spirit, the Lord opened my eyes, I could see that I could see that Maradona will betray them. And when that happens, because their gang up is not of the Lord, it's for selfish intent. It's, it is with an with, with, a, with an idea to restore the sanctity and direction of this nation. Many of them are tired and they have regrets because of what they fail to do in their time. And they also know, many of them know that their time is up. But unfortunately, this seems a laudable project. But I can see personal agenda. I can see the desire to want to call the shots. And the Lord will cut out their cord because it is not of God. I know that the tortoise among the old kings is brave. He has survived many torments and attempted killing and slaughtering and God's hand is upon him especially concerning the project Nigeria the hand of God is upon him he's a warrior and brave fighter he also have regrets because in his time it was so obvious that heaven has opened and favor has come upon Nigeria he did some significant thing but he did not take the battle to the end simply because of greed and covetousness. Now, there's still one significant, one significant stride is going to make that is going to move this nation forward. It will be the last king standing. Then after God is done with all of them, after God is done with him as an instrument, the Lord will dispose of him. The season of judgment is coming. The season of judgment is coming. And finally, concerning the young ruler. Concerning the young ruler. He has received counsel from the wise. He has received counsel from men of understanding. But from time to time seems to be refusing good counsel. He has raised to himself foolish counselors and selfish advisor and they're leading him to his early grave. The time and season is drawing near when the Lord is going to come. Somehow I see mercy towards him. 
I sense in my spirit, the Lord is going to give him another chance. And if he will fail, because 2015 is a season of redemption of Nigeria, then the Lord will be done with him. What I sense in my spirit is that the king is in stupor. The young ruler is drunk. Is drunk and is blind in the spirit. And the judgment of God will come upon his household. His household will be judged by the God of heaven. The Lord will take out his false prophets and stargazers and soothsayers. The Lord will take them out. And the Lord is going to confront with something strong. There will be a wake-up call. Something serious and horrifying will happen. That will wake him out of his slumber. And out of his stupor. The Lord will then come and stretch forth his mighty hand. For the redemption of Nigeria. For the redemption of this nation. It's a season. 2015 is a season of make or break. It's a season when the Lord is declaring an end, an end, an end to the corruption and wickedness and evil and all the things that have retired the old Nigeria. For the old Nigeria will come to rubble and the new Nigeria will arise in the earth. The season, heaven has announced the season of rebirth of this nation Nigeria. Can we rise up on our feet and establish that?